Cristina Enriquez's new novel, The Great Divide, takes us inside the world of two young people brought together by the construction of the Panama Canal. Ada, a brave 16-year-old girl from Barbados, embarks on a mission to save her sister. Omar, a 17-year-old local desperate for community, defies his father and joins the canal's laborers. As their paths intertwine, they must confront the canal's dichotomy. It's raging with inequality and still the pathway to their dreams. And let's say hello to Christina and eight members of the book club from Jersey and Philly. It's this cool group of ladies. Uh, they like to focus on the new and diverse authors who volunteer together. Plus, they're celebrating their fifth, fifth anniversary. anniversary. Happy We're into birthday. That. It's good oh, to see y'all. Christina, welcome. Okay, we loved this book so much. Mm -hmm. I know that this book comes from your family. You mm -hmm. grew up here, but you would go to Panama, mm -hmm. where your father was from, and talked about when the inspiration came to you. Yeah, so I grew up going to the Panama Canal. My parents would take my brother and sister and I, whenever we would visit family there, we'd go out to the canal and we'd watch these ships very slowly inch their way <laughs> through the locks. Um, but it wasn't until I was older that I really became fascinated with it and interested in, you know, what were all the stories, the human stories mm -hmm. that were beneath the water? Mm. Um, what were all of the things that I didn't know that I had been looking at all of those years? And I just really wanted to imagine, you know, what it was like for ordinary people to live through this extraordinary time. I mean, mm -hmm. you don't usually think about the Panama Canal and you don't realize just what an undertaking it was to create that and then to think of the stories behind it as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it was this monumental moment in not only Panamanian history, but in American history. Mm -hmm. It was this turning point for a lot of things. And yeah, I wanted, you know, as a novelist, I'm interested in humanity mm -hmm. and I wanted to know what were the human stories mm -hmm all of the lives that it touched. Um, so yeah, I wanted to write a novel about you it. wrote this entire book pen to paper. Yes, yes. <laughs> Which we love. Why, and you yeah. said it made it more intimate in, in a lot of ways. It did. And that was sort of an accident. I was working on a different book that wasn't going mm. very well. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went one day to buy a pair of pants. And <laughs> I didn't know this, but the store was running a promotion where they would give away a free Moleskine notebook if you bought a pair of pants. <laughs> and I didn't need the notebook, but I needed the pants. <laughs> so, so I took both home with me that day. And I had the notebook on my nightstand that night. I thought maybe I'd give it away or something but I need I wrote down something like I had an idea in the middle of the night huh. and I needed to jot it down and I wrote it down and when I looked at it again I was like this is the best thing I've written in months <gasps> and so instantly I decided the notebook was magic <laughs> <laughs> and I could only write in it clearly and I just kept doing that and I sort of never looked back when? I've been writing in notebooks ever since when did the ideas come to you you said it came in the middle of the night is that usually how it happens with you? Yeah, it's all over the place, yeah. you know, like I'll need a napkin on an airplane <laughs> and I'll have to write something down or, yeah. Oh so. my gosh. Well, it is magic. The yeah. notebook was magic. Can we get to our first question, please? Hi, Kwame. Kwame. Hi, good morning. Um, in the book, the characters are, are dynamic and really unforgettable, um, and so are their relationships. Just wondering, uh, what were the major themes that you wanted to stand out for the reader or that you would hope would resonate with the reader? Yeah, I mean, I think I was thinking a lot about the idea of family, a lot about the idea of belonging and the ideas of ambition and sacrifice, you know, what people mm -hmm. are willing to do for people they love, but also yeah. for the places that they love. And of course, as the title would suggest, there's all these divisions that run throughout mm -hmm. the book, but there's all of these moments of really unexpected connection too. So, you know, I was just trying to balance all of those kinds of things as I was writing. Moira, you got a quick question? Yeah. Yes. Uh, as an American with Panamanian roots, uh, of oh. course, <laughs> I connect with much of the characters and the places and the people of Panama. And I was just interested in how you connected mm -hmm. familiarly, for, you know, with family, yeah. family personally. Yeah. It's a great yeah, I book. mean, I think writing this book was really a way for me to connect with my heritage and yes. with my family in so many ways. I was always asking my dad questions, and we were having conversations that I don't think we would have had if I hadn't written this book. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for example, the 
Omar and Francisco, who are two of the characters, they live in this small house at the edge of the bay. Mm -hmm. The whole time I was writing, I was thinking about my grandparents' house, mm -hmm. which was in a similar location, yes. mm -hmm. and, you know, just channeling that as I was writing. Um, okay, oh, yes. well, you, this book is amazing. If you love Kristen Hanna, if you love historical yeah. fiction, mm -hmm. get it. Um, and we just want to thank the book club for being yeah. here. Y'all are amazing. Yeah. Well, and we have a little surprise. We have a little surprise for you all. Yeah. Since it is your fifth anniversary, and it's also our fifth anniversary, we want to do a little something special with you. Mm -hmm. So our Read with Jenna team is looking for ways to celebrate book clubs, which got us thinking about Expedia's 2024 travel t trends. Mm -hmm. One of our favorites, the Gocations, which are vacations around special events or milestones like an anniversary. Mm -hmm. And so we, thanks to our sponsors at Verbo, we want to do something super special for you all. Your entire book club is going on a bookcation. <laughs> you get to choose the destination. All of these vacation rentals of the year are in top places like Sedona, Austin, Simona, Big Sky. Yeah. And we're including Air of y'all, and I'll send the books, okay? Books on me. All right, y'all. Have a great time. Thank you, thank you. And Christina, we adore you to check out this incredible book, The Great Divide. Go to today.com slash read with Jenna.